Today I will try to show you a little way to create a computer glitch. Um, in my case, it was the Skype conversation or the two between two computers, and um, I need to make a fact that it stops because of the thunderstorm. Yeah, and I couldn't find anything standard in the, the nuke default um, methods so I have to create the, the following one uh, for example if you have a you have a very short footage like this what you could do to create uh, some glitches to obviously add uh, the eye distortion right? eye distort and uh, once you have the eye distortion you could just uh, distort the image but you need uh, something to put it uh, to feed the eye distort. So what I what I choose it to be is to to create the vector vector generated. If you put it in the source, the vector generated will give you the, the forward channel, which looks like this. Yeah, it, it's actually the, the motion vector. Yes, that, that represents the movement. Of on the yeah once once you have this one why don't we create another one and uh, make a difference those two these two and um, for a difference difference the, you obviously will see that there is nothing in there um, could copy this one to the to the actual main source of the project, but it will give nothing because the forward is zeroed out with, with, with two equal values subtracted one from each from one from another. Um, what we could do to make it uh, work? So we could just use a time offset, time offset, and. Um, uh, for example, here we put it at time of zero, and here zero again, and between like three, and all of a sudden you will have the the difference in the you will have the difference between two vector generator because you offset it one. So let's do another one here. Set minus four, and here zero it out. Zero it out here. Well. Yeah, and now we could try to to feed it into the distortion node, and you will see. Yeah, you need to copy the forward, right? So forward, you need to forward, you need to forward, you need to forward, yeah. Yeah, the, the resistance is too huge. Forward a bit. So this. Yeah, what we could do else? What else we could do is to create a bit. Create a bit of uh, the vector channel. Let's, let's put it before. It's a bit difficult to, it's not to generate it. It's, it's a contrast. And let's copy it here. Let's have a look.
Maybe the timing is not right. He's not moving much. This. Yeah, but yeah, there is a small. Let's think this this is working. This is not working. Let's do at least we know. Let's do the And uh, one thing is that um, probably may work for us is that yeah, that's the, you know now when it, it's just you. Uh, you have to take a look and understand what's going on. Yeah, and then we just um, add a reformat node. Reformat, we could use the reformat to, to pixelate the, this thing. So we could just uh, make it, let's say, 1024 by 1024, right? Um, this so beautiful with the fusion pulse and the crop and from my back from what to Let's try to use this setup. So it's been a broken well. I mean, it's working, but not what we expected. Okay, yeah, see, it's just to give you a glitch. Why don't we increase the Yeah. 
at sorts of mimic somehow the, the glitch of the actual transmission. Because there is a time of certain mode and the, the pixelation as well. But the thing is that Well, obviously, um, there is tons of way to improve it. I, I would suggest to somehow mask the, the areas which the, the has higher motion than the others and effect, uh, apply this effect on those areas. But uh, I, just, I just wanted to show you the, the small way to make it happen. Once you generate those, uh, once you generate these uh, motion vectors, there is a limited way to to use them as a distortion input, right? Using the offset, even without difference, it should work pretty interesting. If you, if you apply the, the pixelation to it, you may achieve even better results. So again, what I did, uh, I used the, the vector generator and then I just time offset one of them and put them through the difference node. I don't think this grade is important. I just pixelated using the reformat and crop with it, which is important. If you don't use the crop, it will not pixelate. And then I followed the, the generated vectors to the ID stored. Well, just, you know, it may save a couple of minutes if you know that. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.